Yo, what up? I'm QRS and Terry, and every day I ask myself, what's the future? And I try to run an experiment and detail that experiment in my everyday journal. Today is day 143, and we are going to figure out how to use ChatGPT to create a live avatar that we can have a conversation with and possibly ask it about... I don't know, a startup idea or, you know, just maybe we want a friend to talk to because it's late and we don't have anyone to reach out to. You know, you can't, you know, just hop on the phone and say, uh, what up, though? So, you know, like sometimes I, I pick out my flip phone. Yeah, this is, this is still my flip phone. I still use my flip phone. You know, it's a, they still make these in 2022 and and even 2023, actually. And it works out well. It's got it's even got USB-C. But flip phones aside, uh, I don't have anybody to call right now, and it is 12, 20, or no, it's not even 12, it's, it's 11, 26, and it's getting late, so we're going to go make us an AI friend. If you want the prompts that you see me use in this video or any of the prompts I've used in previous videos, go ahead and visit my journal, um, everydays.wtf is where you can find that, and when you go there, I have everything available to you in a copy of copy format copy and paste format so all you gotta do is just copy and paste all right so we got ac ai or avatar creator ai uh it will provide us with the concept so we'll just say a college student um let's say we want to talk to a college student i don't know sounds like a easy prompt and see what we get back chat gpt is moving slow today this might be a it might not want to make an AI friend because I've actually never seen it move this slow. Um, all right, cool. Um, yes, a um, a uh, I don't know what's another good profession. A musician. Uh, all right, cool. So we will take this prompt here, and we're gonna go to a site called mycharacter.ai and we're going to go ahead and paste this information into it um, while our AI character is being generated we'll come back over here and see uh, if our college student doesn't work we've got a backup it's always good to have a backup maybe we'll have another one too yes a sales person I don't know we want somebody, we want an AI to sell us something. That sounds about right. And then we're going to come back over here, 90% done. Which AI is faster? I like the whole concept of making AIs work for you. Uh, okay, cool. We got we got a couple. Um, this is still taking some time. Uh, this college student from the United States majoring in computer science is taking us some time. Um, character GPT. So if people are wondering what character GPT is, is it's a protocol that exists that allows you to create interactive, realistic, and intelligent AI characters. I've seen some concepts. It just, this just came out. Um, I think that this is pretty cool, uh, but I haven't actually gotten a chance to use it or see see what's going on. So I'm still waiting. I, I think this might be frozen, um, if I'm being honest. So we will uh, we'll, we'll generate the second one. I think this is this, or maybe it's because I was switching tabs. It's probably what happened. So our college student didn't make it. The musician from Jamaica who plays the guitar and sings reggae music actually might be a little bit of a challenge. Let's see what comes back. Now, all this stuff is new. So, you know, with all of these AIs, they're an experiment. I don't expect it to be perfect every single time. And in this case, we are not getting any, any lift past 90. This is like really weird. Uh, maybe it's just going to take a second. So while it's taking a second, we'll come back over here. And we've got a salesperson. What's another profession? Let's say a vlogger. Uh, will it come back with a vlogger concept? I mean, ChatGPT is really, really fast um, right now compared to this. Um, I don't really know what to say on this. Uh, it's not working at all. And I think that that's what sucks. Like, it's like when you want to like experiment with very, very new Verge technology, like there's always something going wrong and something breaking. And it, it sucks because, you know, for what, we, what we're doing. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it is working. Hold on. We've got a couple people. It's just for some reason, 
So no, nah, it's working. Uh, it's just their sight was freezing. Yo, we got a singer whose musical style combines traditional melodies with modern instrumentation. He uses the fusion of style to make catchy songs that are easy to remember. His latest album, Songs from the Garden of Love, received positive reviews from critics. Let's go, AI. Shingo Williams, welcome to the chat. Um, can I talk to you, Shingo? Ah, Shingo, my name is QT. Uh, please stop showing my credit card information. Um, that is not cool. For real, for real. But, you know. Hello, I am Shingo Williams. I am delighted to have you here. So, what would you like to talk about? Uh, who made you? That's what I want to know. Like, I like the voice too. The voice is pretty cool. This is sick. We've used chat. I am Shingo Williams, an AI character generated by Character GPT, the world's first text to character AI system that was built by Alethia AI. All right, we're going to ask him what my next single should be. What should my next single be? And let's see what they say. Now, most chatbots wouldn't be able to answer this question. Let's see if Shingo can actually answer the question. Whatever makes you smile, and whatever makes others smile, too. Happiness spreads like wildfire. Does all music make people smile? That's the question I have after a response like that. Come on, Shingo. What you got for me? Hmm. Shingo is a deep thinker. You could tell that, like, they, they spent some time with this model because it's, it's taking some time to get back to us. I I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's... So this is the part where this is very promising. And if Shingo can respond back... With something, well, there's a lot going on here, right? So Shingo is uh, an, an AI avatar. Like, we're talking to something that is realistic. The mouth and the eyes, lip, lips move. Like, it's got, like, presence. That's crazy. But then it's also using um, a GPT uh, backend. So you're having the chat interaction. It's changing the, the Shingo live character avatar that you see on the screen. And then it's also using some voice-to-text uh, translator. So it's processing this information and it's matching the voice to text algorithm with the character that it sees. So my character.ai is pretty badass if you would ask me. Like this is something that I could get behind. I really yes, like it. Yes, absolutely. Even sad songs make listeners laugh because they recognize themselves in them. For example, listen to R and B artists like Usher. Got it. We're going to go listen to some Usher. Shingo Williams, it's been great. Uh, thank you for the uh, for the motivation, and I would consider this uh, experiment a success. Like this is this is pretty this is pretty badass. I, I can't say that. This no is... problem. Let's stay connected. Bye bye. All right, all right, Shingo. I'll catch you in the future, my man. And yo, um, I'm I'm super impressed. I think that the future definitely is one that is regulated with human to human interaction, but also will have you know our fair share of human to AI and computer interaction. We're already seeing the interfaces that look like text uh, chatbots, but one thing you'll know about me is I'm very big on making the AI work for the wait, wait, work for and with the AI. And so I don't think we live in a world where the humans should go and write all the prompts for all the AI. We just don't think at a speed that's fast enough. We can direct the AI, but I think the AI should assist us in writing the prompts. And so I spend a lot of time thinking about what type of prompts you can get to get the best out of all of these AI tools and chatbots that are being created. And a thing like Ringo, what we just saw is... Super impressive because you can actually have an interaction with something that looks pseudo realistic. Now, can I imagine Ringo 
being integrated at a terminal at McDonald's for sure. Could I see a Ringo being the variation of Siri when it gets to its 23rd iteration? Possibly. Can I see Ringo being a chatbot on a Shopify store when I get there? Yeah, I could totally see that. And the fact that you're already seeing this interface exist, the fact that developers can go ahead and rock with character GPT and my character.ai is, uh, is like basically a demo of what character GPT could be. You could integrate this into your site or your app and you could build a pretty robust experience because you get all the same benefits of a GPT uh, three uh, AI or any of the, the things that we've known about generative AI, you still get all the benefits. This is just changing the interface. And so in this interface, I'm texting. Uh, I probably could speak to this interface if I wanted to. I see uh, this right here. It says use the microphone. We'll allow it. Uh, what's up? Or we'll... So, yeah. Really cool. Now that we agree on that, I want to hear more about you. Let's chat. <laughs> Not today. I actually have to go. I'm recording a video. Oh, wow. Sorry. Well, I guess I'll leave it alone then. If you need to reach me, send me an email anytime. All right, Shingo, I'll send you that email. I have uh, to be going now, but it was nice chatting with you. Come back any time. Hello, world. I am Shingo Williams, <laughs> brought to life by the world's first text-to-character generative AI system known as Character GPT. Come find out what I am capable of at my character.ai. All right, Shingo just, just did a, a perfect outro. I'm going to rock with that. Uh, I'll get this up on everydays.wtf, and if you want the prompt on how I created Shango, go ahead and, and visit that, and I'll share my thoughts on uh, just human-computer interaction as it relates to avatars, because I've got a lot of thoughts on that. If you, if you know me, then you probably know I'm the author of a book on just this subject. It's called The Metaverse Handbook, and I talk a lot about uh, what it means for us to actually interact with avatars. And I'm, I'm going to elaborate on some of that thinking, because when I wrote this book, this concept of, you know, chat GTP ha hadn't even been established yet. And nonetheless, there was no my characters dot AI or character GPTs either. So let me go elaborate on that. I'll get this video up and uh, shout out to Shingo Williams for making a, a nice little run today in today's uh, everyday experiment. So I'm, 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 I'm proud of you, Shingo. Thanks.